good morning dear students now let us discuss our uh, topic with uh, transformers so what do you what do you mean by transformer basically a transformer it is a static device which transfers electrical energy from one circuit to another circuit without change of frequency that means we can transfer energy from one circuit to another circuit so the name itself indicates we can transfer energy from one circuit to other circuit different properties of a transformer no moving parts is rugged frequency is unchanged efficiency is more than 95% windings are magnetically coupled and no electrical connection between the windings these two windings are magnetically coupled this is the diagram of a transformer <coughs> here we see primary as n1 turns secondary as n2 turns and the red color which indicates the flux which is produced around the primary and the secondary itself even of t to of t are called induced emfs in both the windings <coughs> this is the definition of a transformer which is a static device because there are no rotating parts in a transformer it is having only two windings primary winding and secondary winding that's why it is called as static device and the transformer which works on the principle of mutual induction because uh, these two circuits are magnetically coupled there is a flux linkage between primary winding and secondary winding this is transformer construction uh, primary coil secondary coil and primary voltage is 110 secondary voltage is 120 volts the simple elements of transformer consist of two coils have mutual tensile and a laminated steel core and types of transformer based on the constructions are core type and shell type this is the core type transformer and this is the shell type transformer core type <coughs> windings are wrapped around two sides of a laminated square core in shell type windings are wrapped around the center leg of a laminated core this is the structure of a core type transformers this is the core type transformers and this is the shell type transformers <coughs> again in this core type shell type single phase three phase single phase three phase this is the structure of a transformer low voltage bushings high voltage bushings these are called oil tank cooling tubes laminated core low voltage coils high voltage coils this is a connection this is a construction diagram of a transformer conservative tank bachaj relay tan mill bushings transformer tank and transformer core breather wheels emf equation of a transformer here according to the padas law of automatic induction average rate of change of flux equal to 5m by 1 by 4f so 4f 5m and form factor which is defined as rms value by average value which is equal to 1.11 e1 equal to 4.44 f n1 b m into a similarly e2 equal to 4.44 f n2 b m into a transformation ratio k which is defined as e2 by e1 equal to n2 by n1 and losses in the transformers are two types core losses or iron losses these core losses are again divided into two types hysteresis losses and eddy current losses mm, second one copper losses primary copper losses and secondary copper losses efficiency of a transformer which is given by output by input so efficiency is given by output by output plus copper losses plus iron losses so finally you will get one minus losses by input transformer losses and efficiency 
uh, which is given by v2 i2 cos theta 2 by v1 square by rc1 plus i2 square r equal to 2 plus v2 i2 cos theta 2 into 100 where cos theta 2 is called load power factor a regulation of a transformer <coughs> which is defined as v20 minus v2 by v20 into 100 and this is a definition of percentage regulation with v no load minus v load by v load into 100 v no load is called rms voltage across the load time mass without load and v load is called rms voltage across the load time mass with a specified load <coughs> and we will discuss about electrical appliance measurements different types of instruments observed second instruments and types of second instruments again three types indicating recording integrating Types of indicating instruments are two types permanent magnet moving coil, moving guide. This is a construction and principle of a permanent magnet moving coil. Here we see pointer, moving coil, permanent magnet, score, lower control spring, soft steel spring, ring, upper control spring, and we will provide a damping torque and controlling torque by using springs and <coughs> a deflecting torque also. This is a working of a Permanent magnet moving coil advantages are this low, low power consumption, uniform scale, high torque ratio, no stress loss, very effective. Disadvantages are cost clear and it is only limited for DC only. And the uh, applications are it, it can be used as a meter or voltmeter. Moving gear instruments are two types attraction type, repulsion type. This is a construction of attraction type. And this is our principle of attraction type instruments. Here we use air friction damping, and this is the working of a repulsion type. Here we see two iron pieces, fixed one, the other one is moving iron piece. So, this is the construction diagram of a repulsion type and work principle of a repulsion type instruments. These are advantages and disadvantages. Which advantage is cheap, disadvantage says non linear scale, it can be used in both AC and DC. There is advantage and gravity control. Always you have to put the instrument in vertical position. Surely, <coughs> introduction to oscilloscope and uh, CRO generally referred to as oscilloscope. Simply, scope is, uh, is probably the most versatile measuring instrument. Basically, CRO is a voltmeter the screen measurement of power AC or DC voltage is a DC current this is an introduction to oscilloscope CRT vertical amplifier horizontal amplifier sweep generator trigger circuit associated power supplies and this is the diagrams of analog oscilloscope and digital oscilloscope here we are using electron gun on the grid controls brightness on the screen and energy to accelerate Mm, what is a CRO? Black diagram of CRO. This is a black diagram of CRO. Cathode tube. Electron. And CRT is coupled as two main power electron gun and deflection system. Cathode tube. And this is a black diagram of a CR, CRO. And the CRO consists of the following CRT, vertical amplifier, delay line, horizontal amplifier, time based generator, triggering circuit, power supply. Uh, these are the different parts we can explain here <coughs> and electrostatic deflection and its deflection sensitivity magnetic deflection and the application of CR or voltage measurement current measurement examination of wave measurement of phase and frequency voltage measurement and this is phase shift this is just pattern frequency measurement so thank you.